first thing we're going to do to install our Netcom 2P is power down the control unit. Once you have the unit powered down, you will need to remove the cover. Now that we've removed the cover, take your Netcom 2P and you're going to set it into the M1 header for the Netcom 2P unit. Now that the unit is in, we can put our cover back on. Now that our cover is back on and our Netcom 2P is installed, we can power up the access control unit. That's installing your Netcom 2P. Now what we'll do is program a static IP address into our Netcom 2P. To do this, we're going to need to physically connect our serial cable to the RS-232 port of the control panel. Now that we have our physical connection to the control port from our serial cable, we'll need to set the Netcom into program mode. You'll need to go to your dip switch bank and set dip switch number 7 and number 8 to the on position. Remember that any time you change your dip switches, you will need to perform a reset with your reset push button. The control panel is now ready to program our Netcom 2P. Using the Keyscan Utilities and Drivers software disk, insert the disk and open to locate the Netcom setup utility. Follow the instructions and proceed to install the utility. This process should take only a few minutes to complete. Once the utility is installed, you can now begin to program your Netcom. You should now connect the serial cable to your computer. This serial cable, you'll remember, we connected to the RS-232 port on the ACU board in an earlier step. First, be sure to know what port the Netcom has been assigned. You can find this through Control Panels, Device Manager, and note which COM port is being used. In this case, it's COM port 3. Now, return to your Start menu and select All Programs. Find and select Keyscan Netcom Program Tool. When the Program Tool opens, select the far left button, Program Netcom Device. From the pop-up, you can select either Netcom 2 or Netcom 6, depending on which version you installed onto your ACU board. In this case, we installed a Netcom 2P, so we'll select Netcom 2. In the next window, enter your IP address to assign to your Netcom. You can also enter subnet, comms port, remember this was COM3, communication baud rate, if changed, and Ethernet connection type. Once you're finished, click Program Netcom. Once it's completed, click OK. Now that we've programmed our Netcom 2P, all we need to do is remove our serial cable connection, set the panel back to run mode, and reset it, and we'll be done. To set it into run mode, you'll need to set switch number 7 on, and switch number 8 to the off position. And that completes this process. For full details, please reference the installation guide. And thank you for using Keyscan products.